Hello Cheap Skaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheap Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps our channel grow, but it helps you too, because you'll be notified every time we upload a video or go live. Oh, people, none of us are crisis proof. We found out the hard way when disaster struck. And all of us at some times in our lives will all face a crisis of some kind. And it could well be a financial one. Right now in 2022, it most likely is going to be a financial crisis of some kind. Wages are static, mortgage interest rates are rising and they're rising fast. Fuel prices have gone up 40% in just a few weeks. Food is going up every day with fruit up on average 8% and vegetables on average 11% and that's the average not the individual price increases. Some of us may be paying even more than an extra 11% for our produce, depending on what we buy. No matter how faithful we are at building our emergency funds, sometimes we just need a little extra money. You need it quickly and now. So whether it's to buy food for your family or keep the utilities on, quick money is what we need. So here are 10 fast, easy and legal ways to make some quick cash. Now they're not going to make you rich and they are not intended to be permanent. Although a couple of them could become a permanent second income source, but they may just help you get by until your crisis is over. Now, number one is sell your stuff. Now, I know it's not rocket surgery and you'd think everyone would know this um, and automatically do it. But so many people forget that they can sell their stuff and survive on what's left. Most of us have spare stuff lying around that we don't need or could live without. You can have a garage sale or you could use a more modern technique like the internet. The internet is a powerful tool to sell your unwanted items for money You're using online um, marketplaces, Facebook, Gumtree, local buy swap sell groups, lots of ways to sell your stuff. And you know, that saying, one man's trash one man's trash is another man's treasure is true. Um, if you have a talent for making things, you can sell those things as well. I sell my dishcloths. I sell signs that we make. I sell trays that we decorate. I sell pot holders and jar openers, all sorts of things. So if you have a talent for making things, sell them. Now, Etsy is easy to set up and it's easy to use. But it is huge, so you need a pretty unique selling point, and the fees can be hefty. If you're just starting out, though, it might be a good learning place for you. Otherwise, look into setting up a website or a blog with a free shopping cart to sell your products. There's lots out there. Um, Weebly, Wix, Square, Squarespace, there's lots out there. That's just the ones I thought of off the top of my head. Because even now, when things are grim, <laughs> there are people who will buy what you are selling. So if you've got something to sell, sell it. Now, number two is get a second job. Now, again, it's not rocket surgery, but one that so many people seem to think is beneath them. Having to work two jobs to ensure financial security is just no, they won't do it. 
Well, guys, don't let pride get in your way. If you have some extra time, you can use that to get a job to make some extra cash quickly. It's a second job, so it doesn't have to be glamorous, nor does it have to be forever. If your local chip shop needs someone, apply. Money is money. As long as it's legally earned, who cares how you earn it? Number three, temp agencies. They can often find your work quickly. And if you're fairly competent, the people you're working um, for will you know, be more than grateful that you're there. And they generally pay when the work is done. And you know what? If you do well, you may get hired on permanently. Wouldn't that be nice? At the moment in Australia, there are over 480,000 job vacancies. So if you need a second job, there is bound to be one out there for you. 480,000 job vacancies. That's a lot, people. Number four, uh, number four, work online. If you have a service you can offer, such as virtual assistance or content writing or data entry, you may be able to freelance your services online. You'll need a simple website. Again, look for a free one. They're out there. Or a good um, Facebook page. And you'll need the will. And be prepared to put hard work in to find a few clients fast. But it can be done. Number five, odd jobs. Odd jobs pay a lot. So if you're handy, offer to help people do basic house or garden, garden um, maintenance for a price. There are plenty of easy jobs people just don't want to do themselves. Ironing, mending, it can be done in your own home, TV time, in your spare time. You don't need a lot of time to do those things. You could... Um, Hand out flyers around the neighbourhood, letterbox flyers, and let the people you talk to know that you're available for work, that you take in ironing, that you do mending, that you're happy to mow lawns or pull weeds. Word of mouth is a powerful advertising medium. Don't not talk about what you are prepared to do. Number six is seasonal work. Now, in the lead up to Christmas, stores, especially this year, I think, will be looking for extra temporary staff. So now is the time to apply for those jobs because the stores will start hiring from about September and they, those positions fill really quickly. If you wait till December, it's going to be too late. Those jobs also pay well. Or perhaps turn your annual leave into a working holiday and go fruit picking just a suggestion I'm not telling anyone to do it and you can say you've got a bad back or whatever that's fine it's just a suggestion but it's out there because orchardists and vineyards are crying out for pickers after the last two and a half years of no backpackers they need people to pick their crops number seven is market research now you can sign up for online and phone surveys really easily now they don't pay very much but if you're consistent and reliable, they do add up and they can be done in your spare time, in front of the TV. They might take 10 or 15 minutes each. But you know what? Money earned, is mo money earned legally is good money. Now, number eight, delivery drivers. Any takeaway that offers home delivery needs delivery drivers. Our local pizza shop is advertising for delivery drivers. Or you could sign up as an Uber Eats driver. You know, pizza delivery and fast food outlets are two jobs that often come with suitable part-time hours and they pay reasonably well. You will need a good driving record and you'll need a clean and reliable vehicle. And if you have those, this may be an option for you. We have a family friend who was a Pizza Hut delivery driver for years. It helped pay off their house. Right now, you'll just need to factor in the increase in fuel prices to make sure it's going to be worthwhile. 
but it's a great um, part-time or casual gig for anyone. Number nine, taking a border. Now, this might be a bit more invasive, perhaps, in your life, but if you've got a spare room or a caravan you're not using, advertise to find a border to live in it. Now, if you're worried about taking in a stranger, ask friends if they know of anyone looking for a room um, and an inexpensive place to live. You could just do the room or you could do room and board. Um, you could be helping someone else out by helping yourself if you do this too. And lastly, number 10, find a charity to help you. Now, I put this number 10 on purpose because this is a last resort. It's not a step to take until you have tried everything else on this page and you are well and truly out of options and money. I believe that charity is for those who truly need it, not for those who don't want to help themselves. So if you are in a true bind, you may be able to find an organisation who will help you with food or products or services to get you out of that bind. You can talk to utility companies, you can contact churches and other organisations. If they can donate services that will free up cash for you to use, great. If they can't, you need to keep looking. So there are just 10 ways you can find money in a hurry. I'm sure you have more ideas. Please share them in the comments box below because who knows, perhaps your idea is the one that saves someone else. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our show and our channel, please give us a thumbs up. If you know someone who might like this show or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please use the share button to send them a link. Have a great day, everyone, and I hope I see you all in the forum sharing your cheapskating experiences very, very soon.